go. Join game. It's already right here. You can find it if you want. You can't join it. I do have it passworded. I don't want anybody on it because I was just doing it to test things. So let me click join. And it gives you the list of required mods. Like I said, I don't have those other mods. So we got Ultimate Tranks, Death Inventory Keeper, and then all the rest of the mods that I usually have is on here. Except for the bag mod. Okay. Now you're also going to see the amend password, but d don't don't even try it. I'm going to be changing it. And also you can't use the amend password unless you're in there. So you first have to do the regular password and then you can do the amend password. But yeah, so it's already going to be changed. So don't even try. All right. So now I should be able to do a leave me alone and a... Um, a uh, fly. All right. I'm going to sit back over here where our starting home is. And we're going to see a lot of dinos because we were, because we're moved through areas. But I'm still going to do the uh, delete wild dinos so you can see the population anyway. So I'm going to just sit right here and I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the difference that is like I said it's going to be kind of populated because we moved around a pretty good bit but I just want to show you this is the server it's different format but it's still the same information it's just in a different format of information but take a look at this there's 1531 Delos in the world. I haven't even seen a number that big. There's 500, whatever those are, uh, wild direwolves in the world. So what I'm going to do real quick is we're going to do the same thing we did before. I'm going to leave my God mode on and my flight on, but I'm going to just sit here. And I'm going to do the destroy wild dinos. And then let's do a list dinos. And here we go. This is our dinos right now. Not that many. There's four. The, the most one we've seen is 41 dodos right now. It's a dodo. You're going to see a lot of dodos. It's going to take it a little bit. But like I said, I'm going to sit here another 15 minutes. And I'm going to do it like I did before. I'm going to turn my mic off so you can't hear anything from me. And I'm going to set a timer. In fact, let's go ahead and set that right now. And as you can see, it's right here. Got a 15-minute timer pushing start. So it's counting down from now. So if you wish to, skip ahead 15 minutes. And we'll be back. And we'll do another list dinos. And we'll also go and walk around. And I just want you to see the difference, not in just the list dino list. That's, that could be anything, but I want you to see visually how different the dino spawns is. It's massively different. And we're going to also check out the penguins because then you can see what I'm talking about with the penguins being on the icebergs. So I'll be back in the 15 minute mark.
There we are, 15 minutes later, <laughs> as I was saying. All right, so let's see. Where's my mouse at? Why is it? Okay, there we go. Now I can see my, <laughs> I can see my mouse. All right, so let's do the uh, list dinos. And just look at this. This is already, there's 726 salmon. Of course, salmons are pretty common. They're all in the waters. And the aloes, there's some aloes somewhere around. Anklio. Yeah, there's just, just look at all this. Uteranus, we can see a Uteranus. So there's 21 of them in the world right now. Three babies of them. Let's see. So waypoint three. Huh, no beavers. Right here, right now. Surprisingly. Dillo over there. reason why I say there's no beavers is because there's no beaver dams either in this area. Hmm. Let's head up to waypoint four and check over there. See, I think you have like a bigger radius that uh, that uh, dinos can spawn for you. Epicornis. So this is supposed to be possibly beaver country, but I don't see any right now. Okay, let's head up to that mountain top that's in the forest here. Uh, I think it's over here. Yeah, here it is right here. And we already got some RG spawned in and everything. Scorpion just plummeted off the cliff. Probably killed itself. There's an Anki right there. I think why I'm not seeing much is there's like all these others. Here's some, there's, there's there, there's a Carno right there. Saber tooth. Just gonna hang around the area a little bit longer to see if anything else spawns in the area here say Acapurus okay all right let's head over let's do this mountain over here first and then we'll head to the mountain over there because I'm really wondering if there's like what is spawned over here because it's so strange that there's see there's something at least okay yeah here's some more stuff some saber twos eating things it's a packy 
Hyena dance. More hyena dance. Scorpion. A couple of scorpions. Some of those guys, some kind of Tauruses. Some more Argies. Yeah, there's this is like a shit ton more pop list than than the single player non dedicated one. Just look at the difference. What is Oh that's one of those Demorphodons, okay. I was wondering what he was doing, who he was. All right, let's go see the big one and we'll go into the volcano and take a look here. Whoops. Oh, we're not on the volcano. We're 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 in the uh, deal. <laughs> let's go back this way. This is our volcano here. Sorry. <laughs> we're up in this deal up there. Okay, so the big dino here has a spawn. Here's a pack of raptors. Some saber tooths as well. Just sitting there. We didn't see hardly anything up here when we were here before. Scorpion. Dodecaron. Right here. A level 135 Dodecarus. Just chilling right here. On the mountain. Just trying to make sure I keep on the path because the shadows does make a mess with the uh, predator vision. There's another scorpion right here. There is an Allosaurus, level 15, and a Stegosaurus 145. Yeah, he kind of, he let go and win that. And there's a scorpion. Parasaur. And there's uh, Argentavis around as well. Some compies. Patchy. Level 130 Patchy. Also, my if you're wondering, my uh, custom dino levels is set up for Rag, Ragnarok uh, levels. There's um, there's a, th a few settings. There's a custom levels where you can set them yourself. There's levels. Uh, the, there's the default one, which is balanced, which is every level is balanced to appear as much as it wants to. And then there is. Um, the uh, the one I have it set to, which is the Ragnarok levels, because Ragnarok tends more towards the higher level um, mobs. Okay. 
right, so let's head over to the pit and see what we have here. Here's a Spino 135. There's a Diplocus that's level 25. He's probably going to get eaten when that Spino gets hungry. Some Raptors over here. Argentavis. There's another Argentavis in there. So what have we got down here now? We got some saber tooths. We got some scorpions. We got some kinetoruses. Um, staggies over here. Okay, they're fighting a carnivorous level 95. Some raptors have shown up. There is a baby level 52 saber tooth. Wait, really? Babies must have their own level because things should be in the levels of five. I have it set to max difficulty and level five. So, hmm. But let's go see the deals. Penguins. Just sitting here. Penguins. Penguins over here. Penguins over here. The penguins. Penguins. More penguins have spawned in since we've been here. This was our first group. That was the second group we saw. And now we have a third group. And if we go over here, there's woolly mammoths. That were, there was nothing here before. There's woolly mammoths. There's some saber tooths. Uh, probably if we stayed long enough, there would be Megalodon spawning in the water. Um, that Sabretooth lost his fight with the Woolly Mammoths. Um, Megatheriums are down here as well. Some Argentavis. Some Piggies and Mammoths and Argentavis. Some Ankies. A pack of dire wolves facing off against a mammoth. More dire wolves versus mammoth fights. A deer. Some more inkies. Some more mammoths. Some more mammoths. And then if we go over here to this thing, the big one. Penguins. 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 Just penguins, man. There's actually penguins on these things. Penguins. Just look at the difference. Beauty with some Carnotauruses. Some Argentavises. Megatheriums with like two babies. I haven't seen a baby pile like this. I've only ever seen one. I've seen it. I, okay, that's a lie. I've seen a couple of with two babies, but there always been something like a trike. I've never seen like a Megatherium or anything have like two babies with them. Eudotranus, Carnivorous. Um, one of these, the Megalophorus. Direwolves. We go up into the air here. Looks like it's being nighttime. This one I haven't found the, um, 
the deal yet for um, um, it's a snowstorm going on but the the setting yet to change the time of day I found one that does all the t the, the whole day links but I haven't found settings for different links of the times so the day night cycle to set it differently I haven't found that setting yet I've only found the setting for the whole day. Level 85 Megatherium. Might make that an easier fight for the Willy Mammoths, as long as they don't turn on each other. But just look at the difference. Pack of Allosauruses over there. Carnotauruses. Argentavises, some hyenodons. Bronto, a Bronto, a Diplocatus. There's just so much different. There's such a difference right now in this. It's really shocking. How you can see how different it is. A lot more saber tooth, a lot more raptors over here. Now this is the mosh pit that it's supposed to be. It's just such a difference compared to what it usually is, you know. Some Linotaurus, some dodo family. Dillos, Petrodons. Dodo family. berry level 140 baryonyx i haven't seen above a level 85 or so in my um single player world family of turtles you kick the ass of a uh raptor level 15 raptor some trikes Say saber tooth salmon there. Raptors eating on a parasaur. It's a dire bear 140. There's a megatherium over here. I have not seen a megatherium outside of the ice biome. In my single player server at all. The terror birds. A dodicorous just setting right here. It's hurt pretty bad from probably the deals. A, a juvenile. Dodicorous. It's so different. I think that Carnotaurus is going to get its butt kicked with two, dealing with two dire bears. Depends on how how high of a level it is compared to the dire bears. I've seen one horse 
on my single player server. Uh, that Moss Chops is having a bad day. Titan Boa. I've only ever seen one Titan Boa on my second single player. I've seen a I've seen a plenty of Themoma, so I'm not. There's been plenty of those running around. Hmm. Haven't seen any like slugs. That's a uh, Dimorphodon. Yeah, I haven't seen any slugs. Ah, here's one. Akatha. That's what I was talking about, the slug. So there's some over here. Haven't seen any in my single players. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? There's a there's a there's a gigantosaur gigantotepesis. A wild man has appeared. This is a uh, honey. Dire Bear 130. Say Diplo again. It's a Diophysis and a Titan Boa. Now, I'm not showing caves. In case you don't know, there is a cave system in um, uh, Ark. And in the cave system, what the cave system is about, that's where you go get your artifacts to go fight the bosses. But the caves never load unless, you're, unless you go into them. You have to go into them at a certain point and then they'll all load all the enemy, all the dinos in it. So that's always going to be different than just out in the world. Um... I'm going to go up here because this was our, that was our base in our other series, in our first series. And I want to see what's up there because that's also where we go and did a lot of underwater diving. And I kind of want to look underwater to see what's up there. pretty foggy okay so which way is it okay we gotta go over here here we go down here there we go we follow this this is the path through okay we got a Carnotaurus here oh I think we went the wrong way yeah we went the wrong way we gotta go back this way this is the way we're supposed to go I got turned around down here here we go. Here's the here's the lagoon thing here. And then my base was on further up. It's Iguanodon. Just the drop. Is it down or is it coming down? I think it's coming down still. Here we go this way. And up here was where our base was. This whole area here was where our base was. Dino pin over there and everything. Base and things. Okay, and then we had our offshore thing here. Can't see anything actually. Definitely can't see jack shit. Wow, really? Yeah, here's some of that. Here's a stingray. Um, 
Okay. Oh, we were running into a rock. That's why I couldn't move. I was wondering what was going on. Dawn, level 90. He's an eel, electrophores. I was hoping to see like an angler or something, but I don't see one. So we got a bunch of spawns over here now, okay. So a lot of dolphins, megalodons, uh, the gadgets. Another megalodon over there. Yeah, I don't see like a Belisosaurus or anything or Donkey Tor. Donkey Saurus is how it's pronounced. I can't remember. I usually just call it the Donkey. Let's see. Where is? But yeah, you can already see how it is, the uh, levels and things, uh, and the look of everything. Herbivore Island here. Head up to Carno Island and look at it. I, I want to look at it and see what's up there. Is that it there? No. So we're here. 
Is it here? Yeah, this is Carnot Island here. Where everything is officially trying to eat each other. Scorpions. Carnotaurus. Archetavis. Saber tooth, one thirty five saber tooth, twenty five saber tooth, one forty five saber tooth, Pelagornis. See, the reason why I wanted to know about these things is because I was, I was really what. What's this level of this wreck? Level twenty, huh? All right. So the reason why I wanted to know this information is because I was doing a series and I was trying to find um, the penguins and the Dodecus so I could get stone. I was wanting to build a base. I was actually going to make, I was actually making a series on making a base. I was going to do, I was going to make a base and I was going to base the whole thing. And I was, I was gathering dinos to gather stuff and everything. Um, and I had gotten the beaver and I had gotten, then I went out and got the Argentavis with my Petrodon, Tetradon. And then as I had the Tetradon, I went and looked for, um, the uh, I went uh, uh, the Argentavis, and then with the Argentavis, I went and got the Ankylosaurus. That was at the point that I started going and looking for penguins, because I knew I was going to need. I had gotten a Pelicornis, because I knew I was going to need uh, some type of polymer, and I was going to do. I I had heard that a very rumored. That they had fixed spawns and in one of the patches. They haven't. Not for single player. They may have fixed it for some type of server thing. But they did not fix any type of, uh, of spawns for single player slash non-dedicated servers. As you can see. And I was going to go and I was going to use the Pelagornis to get organic polymer because that's one of the best ways to get organic polymer harvest them from the penguins with the pelagornis early on at least eventually you'll want to um, you can do an automated set of it with set up with it with the pelagornis just automatically killing the babies or uh, the penguins as you grow them and stuff you can have a mother uh, some females and the male and breed them and they grow the babies and things like that and use them as a farm for organic polymer. And I was just going to start using the Pelagornis going up there, killing things, coming back with some organic polymer. Because I had the ice box from the automated arc mod and it would have lasted a pretty good bit um, as an early deal. And I noticed, well, there's no penguins. Couldn't find penguins. And then I said, okay, so we're going to have to put off getting the penguins because apparently they didn't fix that. So let's go and get us a Dodecarus. Let's head back to base with the Pelagornis and then fly back out with the Argentavis because we can just pick up the Dodecarus with the Argentavis, bring it back to base and get stone. Because that's basically what I needed. I needed wood. I need the ability to harvest wood, the ability to harvest stone, and the ability to harvest metal. To, you know, for resources for my base. And flint, too. In case I needed it for fixing things. And I just could not, for the life of me, find a Dodecarus. I understood the penguin thing. The penguin thing has been busted since the game came out. You can't get them on the iceberg. That was the main thing. If they're on the iceberg, you can get them whenever you wanted. But with them not being on the iceberg in single player, so it's not dedicated then it's not going to work. I, I was just going to pass on that. I was just go get a Dodecarus, get the stone. And I could not, for the life of me, f 
find a Decorus. It took me literally two hours after work to find a Decorus. I got up, I, I go into work at 7.30, at 7.35, I leave this house to go to work. I come back home on Fridays, I get off an hour early, so I came back home at uh, 2.45 is when I left work to come back home. Uh, I took a shower and everything, and it was like about 3.15. And I started recording, finding a decorous. This morning, before I went to work, I tried to, I got the Anki. I was going. I was trying to find a decorous, couldn't find one. I said, okay, we'll just come back later, get one. And I came back home, had my shower, came to the game, and was going to play until supper. And I was here for t over two and a half hours, probably, looking for the decorous and finally found one. And I found a level 40. And that was with a mod on to make higher level spawns happen. The, the custom dino levels mod. I said, something's not right. And that's when I started researching this and going into um, going into and finding about the cheat list dino command and all that stuff and st people still reporting spawn problems. And then people are starting to say, well, it's the single player deal. They just limited the spawns. I say, how bad? I mean, they already nerfed the shit out of the penguins for single players that's not dedicated. Why? And then people are talking about, well, the game is a lot more graphically intensive. I agree. But they shouldn't nerf it that much. At least the big the big iceberg up there should have the penguins. And it shouldn't be a freaking problem to find a dodecarus because it's 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 a stone gatherer. You need one of those. Those are those are pretty much common. The Dodecarus, the Anki, and the Argentavis are a combo together, especially since the Argentavis came out, that they're pretty common to get, you know. And I even had trouble finding an Argentavis at first. Um, I was up in the up at the the pit of despair that I call it, and. I found I happened to find one Argentavis up there that was level 140 and I snagged it as quick as I could. Of course, I being me, I forgot something. I didn't bring any prime meat with me to tame it. So I had to run back home really quickly, then run back to the Argentavis. And luckily it was still there. It had actually fallen in a little shallow pool of water. So luckily it didn't drown itself while it was down there and I was able to tame it and get it. But still... This that one Argentavis at the time, and later on, they more of them came back, so it wasn't a big thing, but still. But the Dodecarus, why is it so rare of a spawn? You saw how rare it was when we were messing around with our non dedicated server area. Why? It is so strange, so strange to me. How rare that is. It's rare, it's as rare as a penguin now. To find a penguin is to find a dodecarus apparently now. Um, we also barely saw anything dangerous up in those mountains as you saw. Uh, where, where we saw the allosauruses and things. Nothing. Really just nothing up there. It's a big wide open thing. Which is great for you going and getting materials. You don't have to worry about anything fucking with you. But that's kind of the fun. You want to like, fuck it with you while you're trying to gather. So it's not a total a total easy deal. But it's just so strange that it's so different than Ark Survival Evolved. It's just so different. And I have never been on an Ark Survival Evolved server to try it out. Uh, this is actually the first time I've done a server server for ARC at all is doing this Nitrato thing just to check these levels. And I'm just blown away of the difference between now on Ascended between single player and server. There's just such a big difference. And why it's just, it's an extra 
it, it, you can pay either five dollars for three days or twenty dollars over twenty one dollars for thirty days that's thirty days a month you're paying twenty dollars twenty over twenty one dollars that's over a hundred and twenty probably a hundred and thirty almost a hundred and forty dollars for a year it it's too much i feel it's for just for the ease of having access to actual spawns to actually play the game it's it's not good i'm just going to say it it's not good um i'm going to end this here before i go on to any for longer rant i'm just going to stop it here um i don't know what i'm going to do i'm i'm definitely taking a break uh i'm not even going to release that um that uh i'm going to probably just delete the series i was recording because it just it just upset me so much i don't really care to play anymore right now um maybe when maybe i'll come back when like the center is released i don't care for scorched earth it's just i don't like the aesthetic personally um uh, i got a recording i'm actually going to release that one of me trying out Scorched Earth and while I died a lot that's not what turned me off what turned me off was the aesthetic um, there was a shit ton of storms all the time so I could barely see there's sandstorms in Scorched Earth you can barely see they last like up to f like three minutes and and it I just I don't like just desert and that's all it was that I could find is desert while there is some green stuff, it is really few and far between. I'm more of a tropical paradise like the island or something like Ragnarok or something. I don't want just desert. It's just not for me. And I'm not just an ice person either. I would like a little bit of either or either either one either, but I don't want just one of them, you know which is pretty much what Scorched Earth is. So I'm not going to be doing that. So I just didn't care for the map, uh, the way it was and everything. So um, so we'll see. I don't know what to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. I was really, really gung-ho about doing this whole base build, but now I just don't care anymore at all. So I'm going to just stop here, like I said, and I hope y'all enjoyed this i'm pr this is going to be about two hours long so i'm probably going to cut this into two parts uh one eat one hour uh, one hour each for them and so yeah so that's what we're going to do so i'll see y'all later um i just wanted to get this information out there for anybody who is interested in arc uh ascended at least survival evolved i think it's fine if you want to go that route but ascended i have to say no uh, not until they fix the single player spawns that is way too low i'm sorry it's just way too low uh so yeah thank you for watching i hope y'all find this information helpful and everything uh also as a little thing at the end uh i do want to say this i'm really happy uh i have over 200 subscribers i'm at 212 now uh thank you everybody for subscribing I am hoping you are liking this series and things like that. Uh, right now, we're still, I'm still got uh, the Seven Days to Die, War of the Walkers, Wandering Hordes deal going on. So I'm hoping y'all enjoying that um, and things like that. Uh, I'll probably be doing, uh, just as a future thing, I'll probably be doing a channel update soon, probably around when day 2021 comes out of the War of the Walkers mods. So to give y'all an update of what I'm thinking about going on in the future and things like that. So if y'all got to this point, thank you for watching. Y'all have a nice time, whatever time it is in y'all's part of the world.